Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. We begin today at four o'clock with new information from the stand in the Delphi murders trial. Today, a forensic expert for the Indiana State Police testified for the prosecution. Now, Richard Allen is the suspect who is facing murder trials in charges in the death of two teens, Abby Williams and Libby German. Both girls went missing in February of 2017. One day later, their bodies were found near the Monon Bridge in Delphi. Our Bob Siegel is in Carroll County once again today with the new information just revealed in court. During day nine of testimony so far, it's been all about DNA. The state's key witness is Stacy Bozanovsky. Uh, she's on the right in this video. She's a DNA analyst for the Indiana State Police who tested dozens of samples from items recovered at the crime scene to see if she could find DNA that would identify the killer. Bozanovsky told jurors she tested clothing from Abby and Libby, tested skin cells under their fingernails, blood on their bodies and on the ground and on nearby trees. She did confirm many of the samples had DNA from the two victims. But when asked directly by Deputy Prosecutor Jim Luttrell, did you find the DNA of Richard Allen on any of the items you tested? She replied, no, I did not. That includes not finding Richard Allen's DNA on the cartridge found between the girls' bodies or on any of the hairs found at the crime scene. Bozanovsky also said sexual assault kits performed on the victims showed no signs of sexual assault. And while the overall DNA testing did show some male DNA at the crime scene, it was not linked to Allen. And the state's witness said it would not be unusual to find male DNA on clothes or other items naturally found in the environment. So why would the state put a witness on the stand to say they did not find Richard Allen's DNA? Well, to get out ahead of the defense during this afternoon's cross-examination. The defense says the lack of DNA from Allen is one of several key points showing he did not commit the crimes. By the way, some of the testimony this morning quite dry and tedious. Just how tedious? Well, some members in the gallery fell asleep and that drew a stern warning from the judge. She said, I do not conduct court in your bedrooms. I would appreciate you not sleeping in my courtroom. We'll have more from day nine of testimony coming up on 13 News at 5. In Delphi, Bob Siegel, 13 News. Bob, thank you. And don't forget, every week and I, we make it easy for you. We break down everything that happened in court today in our Delphi debrief. Tonight, Bob and our legal analysts will do a deep dive on the case. You can watch that on our WTHR Plus streaming app. It's free to download. It's on Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick, and Roku.